Lawmakers introduced a bill this morning to limit shorter sentencing for multiple DUI offenders. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh spoke to a low country mother who shared her experience with drunk driving and why this legislation is so important to her. Experts say getting behind the wheel is one of the most dangerous things a person can do. If you choose to add alcohol or drugs to the mix, you're creating a major risk. I think about all the things that I personally could have done to make uh, my family be safer, and I realize that it's not what I did, it's what somebody else did. Long was hit by a drunk driver in broad daylight while traveling down Bohickett Road with her mom and two-year-old son. She was also pregnant at the time with her son, Travis, who was killed immediately on impact. My son was a full-grown, you know, almost full-grown baby, so I would have had him, and he would have been four and part of my life, and, you know, enriching my life. Long says the person who hit them had been caught five other times for DUI and was out on bail for a hit and run the year before. A third couldn't be reduced to a second, but more importantly, a second, third or fourth couldn't be reduced to a first. A new law called S1157 would prevent repeat DUI cases from receiving shorter sentences. It's the only jury you will pick where there is a significant chance somebody on that jury has committed the offense. Not been caught, not been convicted. Since 2020, Harputlian says 2,000 DUI offenders have been offered plea deals. Every person arrested for drunk driving on average has done it 80 times before. Drunk driving deaths went up 45 percent between 2019 and 2021. South Carolina sits as the second worst in the nation under Montana. After being introduced this morning, supporters hope the bill will lower those numbers and support already existing legislation. Oftentimes it's thought of as just something that is no big deal, and it is a big deal. It's most certainly a big deal in my life. It's defined who I am. Reporting in Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.